Okay, time for another video. Uh, as I said in my update video, I was going to have a video detailing 50 Strong as a company, some of the products they carry, and what I think about them. Now, what is 50 Strong? Pulling straight from their own website. I've got it printed out here. Uh, it says, 50 Strong, we have a clear goal to make America stronger by making products in America. We're a family of entrepreneurs and are frustrated every time they walk through a store and see aisle after aisle of products made overseas. We wanted to change that, so we took action and created 50 Strong. We started with America, a line of American-made water bottles. But that's just the beginning. And that is their focus, water bottles. Uh, they make a lot of bottles, actually, ranging from the very simple little clear, standard sport style bottles, which I'll take it out of the package here. Pull that off. Very simple little bottle. Uh, I've got a couple of these I've been using. Uh, I gave one to my oldest daughter. She took it to school and she used it for a long time. And good way to torture test it. Stick one on your bike and ride it around, let it get beat up and see if it falls out on the trails and using your, your vehicle as you're riding around and drinking whatever fluids you put in your water bottle, whether it's uh, sports drinks or water. For me, it's, it really is just water most of the time. But to see how they can handle because well, it's American made, you expect the plastic molding to be a little bit better. Because for those of you who are unfamiliar, typically Chinese plastic is a little stiffer and a little more brittle and fragile. Well, out of the two bottles I've been torture testing for the past two years, because I've had them for two years, one still survives. My, my daughter found a way to finally kill hers. Uh, it wasn't her fault. Somebody was moving her backpack at school and with it full of water, it fell from head height and landed on the valve, which that will kill a number of bottles. I've lost a few that way from all brands. Uh, so that's not really a failure of the product, but that was something that did happen and I want to share and let you know, hey, got to be fair about the review. Now, I'll set this one aside. This one, you can buy these directly from 50 Strong on their website, which is www b50strong.com. I will put a link to that in the description below. You can also find these at your local Walmart. Now whether you care for Walmart or not, some people are horribly against them and others just don't care. Well, one way or the other, I have to give Walmart a big thumbs up and a kudos for carrying more and more Made in America products. So whether you like Walmart or not, they are making a, an attempt to carry some Made in America products, their own brands, uh, the Great Value brand. You'll see in a lot of things such as some storage containers and whatnot, other plastic products mainly, you'll see Made in America, which is nice. And of course, beef, the 50 Strong Company, the whole company is about Made in America products. Um, Lima, Ohio is where they're based, which is straight off of I-75. It's near, uh, well, somewhat near they said Toledo, so it's, I think, a couple hours drive. They said they're located near Toledo, which, fun fact, Lima, Ohio is, uh, some of you, if you're into military stuff, their other claim to fame is that is where the Abrams tanks are built. Uh, I knew it sounded a little familiar. I kind of have a fascination ever since being a child with tanks, and when I heard Lima, Ohio, I had to do a little research because I was thinking to myself, that sounds oddly familiar for some reason. And sure enough, the M1 Abrams and M1A1 Abrams are, were, have been built there. And they had a tank factory there ever since back in World War II. Fun fact, doesn't pertain to the products or anything, but just, just something that I thought was interesting. Now you see, that was the base bottle. I'll get back, to the, get back on topic. They are primarily a water bottle company. And again, you can get this on their website for $4.99 and it is available for $2.97. You heard that right. $3 at Walmart. Or $5 directly from them. Uh, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's a quality bottle. It has taken a beating. Mine still is around. I, it's the one I throw in my actual water bottle cage. And I pretty much use a water bottle for showering myself. If it's a hot day, you could be a hydration pack user, which I have my Camelbacks. I have a couple of them. I use those for my actual drinking. Nothing beats 
cold blast of water out of a water bottle through your helmet on a cold on a hot day. A cold douse of water can refresh you so much on a long hot ride. Or around town, if you're just riding, you know, in downtown, uh, commuting, you don't need a hydration pack. Water bottle's fine for a short ride. So good reason to use them. Just my reasoning of why I have one, even though I use hydration packs. Now, for those of you who need a water bottle cage, well, they make their own water bottle cages. Here it is packaged with that bottle. Here it is alone. These water bottle cages, again, you can buy them from your local Walmart or directly from 50 Strong on their website, b50strong.com. If you buy it at your local Walmart, it's a little bit better price, again, it's three dollars at local Walmart's. It's four ninety nine on their website, I do believe. I'll have to double check that. I'll put all the prices and all the links to the products in the description below. But you can get it in different colors. I actually wrote them down over here. Uh, these colors are black, as you see, blue, green, pink, red, or white. So if you want some choices, buy it direct. If you just want black. Local Walmart's got them in stock. I've seen these at, I've checked at least six different Walmarts and all of them had this water bottle cage in stock. All of them had each of these bottles that I'm going to showcase. Um, and they all had some of the other products as well. But my local Walmart, which I, again I've checked six, I live in the central Kentucky area and I go, I'm in Bowling Green a lot, so I've checked multiple Walmarts between Bowling Green and Lexington and they all had these products so pretty good sign of decent availability and of course you can always order them online and get them to ship it to you but you can buy the water bottle alone you can buy the bottle cage or you can buy a combo and it was a pretty good deal uh, the water bottle cage and combo saved you I think it saved a couple dollars rather than buying them individually and one of their products also that I have and this is a brand new one, and you'll see why I have all these new products here in a little bit. This is their insulated water bottle, which is a true double wall. It has a soft tipped bite valve. Very nice. It is actually soft. It's not. It's a rubberized surface. And they have different logos in here. I have the red and white, which. I quite like red it happens to be one of my favorite colors that and the orange that Mongoose uses uh, but they sell it many many different prints of course if you want those prints go to the website they have all kinds of choices a few that I thought were really neat were uh, the uh, American flag bottle which I'll pop up on the screen then the uh, I found the mix it up bottle which I'll show here. I thought that one was pretty neat. And the Never Stop Adventuring pattern, shown here. I thought, I thought that one was pretty neat as well. All these bottles, they range all the way from the uh, least expensive bottle here, which I'm just going to quote their website price. It's $4.99 for this. All the way up to their best bottles with some unique designs being uh, all the way up to uh, about $12. Uh, again, links will all be down below. You can shop around the website, take a look. But nice thing about the company is, again, those prices, I mean, if you're talking about $11.99, $12.99 for their top models of water bottles, with they have mixing design, it has a little tornado mixer in the bottom. For those of you who uh, put powders, and flavorings into your water and you want to stir it up, that's a pretty nice feature. It'll avoid clumping, especially for some of you who might use uh, protein powders and whatnot. Pretty nice design to stick that in your drink and be able to mix it up right there on the go. And the tornado mixer just drops in. They sell them separately. You could throw them in your current water bottles. And again, all made in America, right there in Ohio. Now, another product. Finally one, not water bottle related. For tire levers. I kept this one for last for a reason. These have replaced, I've used these things for the past two years and I absolutely love these tire levers. 
Uh, I always have sworn by little Pedro's. Nice, chunky, very beefy, uh, tire lever, well made, um, works well, great hook on it, and nice spoke clip. Of course, for those of you who don't understand, you get this underneath the bead of the tire, and then you hook it to the actual spoke to hold the first one in place while you work a second one in underneath, and then you can work around and pop the bead off of the wheel. Well, this one, off to the side now. This one does the job just as well, only better. The edges are smooth more. That leads to less snagging of the actual tube if you run a tube, and less chances of damaging the bead if you run a tubeless. That's it's always personal preference. Uh, tire levers or something. It, it's a hand tool. It's a very personal choice. For those of you who are serious about bikes, it might sound like I'm kind of going crazy. To those of you who aren't serious about bikes and just for some reason just like 50 strong maybe and are watching this video, um, for those of us who are serious bicycle mechanics, tire levers are an indispensable tool and it's something that you make a really personal choice about. But for me. I've always loved Pedro's tire levers. These things are still good, uh, but it would be my number two choice now. These 50 strong, they fit your hand a little better. These are kind of squared off and blocky, and I always liked it because of the structural integrity. They don't flex, but look at the thickness of these, if you can see it in front of me. I'll put a, put a piece of paper up in front of them. The Pedro's and the 50 strong are both very chunky built. The difference being, the 50 Strong is more ergonomic. It just it feels better in your hand. It feels better when you're really prying. It gets under the, the beads nicely. And they've molded this smoother. And that has, that has a bit more safety factor for your tubes and tires. Again, it doesn't matter if you use tubeless or tube. You don't want to damage the bead of the tire nor the tube itself. This has kind of squared off corners and that has snagged some beads. I've actually, with really, really tight fitting tires, I actually have uh, done what looks like a little bit of damage to their beads. That one, I still would use it if I had to, but for now, I've been using this, this pair for two years. They show almost no signs of wear. They are molded very nicely. The material seems very tough, actually. Uh, it does not seem like your typical plastic, and I mean, you can't get any more long-term tests than two years. That's how long I've had these, and they've worked quite well. And I bought them for I bought these things for three dollars, three dollars for two of them. That is in the same price range as these cheapo little innovation brand that you you can pick up. Uh, a lot of bike shops will have these in a little a little bin or a little. Uh, the display stand that I got these from, and I have probably six or seven of these things that I toss in all of my hydration packs, and I have a couple in my glove compartment of each vehicle. Um, normally, you get these for about two or three dollars, or a dollar each. And these little things, they don't compare. They got this little flexible plastic. It's kind of flexible. That's the their spoke hook is back here, and it's very thin. I've actually snapped those off to where they don't even have the hook on anymore. It's very small, there's not a whole lot of grab there, and they do have flex to them in the middle. You can actually flex them. Compare that for the, about the exact same price, and these are not made in America. Whether you care about that or not, uh, if you're looking at 50 strong, you probably should. Um, they're making good products. You can tell already, this is much stiffer, much heavier built, and I mean <laughs> that spoke hook. On the when you're putting the first tire lever underneath and you need it, it's like an extra hand. And these can snap off right while you're using them. And if it's like a downhill or free ride tire that's got a, a tough bead and it's on there tight and it's a say it's a 2.7 or 2.8 inch tire and it's, it takes a little effort to get on and off of the, the rim. That snapping off that can be frustrating when it's a hot day on the side of the trail and you're having to fix a flat. That's That can be frustrating. This, it's a simple little tool that most people overlook, but this isn't going to ever let you down. It's They're tough, they're durable, 
And like I said, this set has two years of use on them and they look brand new. Uh, they've changed many tires and these are the gold standard for me now. <laughs> it sounds silly, but tire levers are important. Uh, for every mountain biker, every road cyclist, doesn't matter. If you ride bikes, one of the most important tools you can have in your tool bin or your hydration pack or an under seat pack, good set of tire levers. Indispensable. And theirs are inexpensive. They do the job at a with a grade A and there's not, not much more you can say on tire levers. But what I can say more on is on the company. Based in Ohio, their whole goal was when they started selling these products a number of years ago is to break into the market and sell quality products at a lower price than what most people would expect to pay for a premium product. Because they wanted to be competitive. And to be honest, they've succeeded they have succeeded on every single account because I think they gotta be one of the top three or four tire levers on the market. And they're also sold at rock bottom prices. So, tire livers. I think they win that category hands down. My opinion, hands down. Water bottle cage. Um, again, simple little thing, overlooked. These are inexpensive. They're lightweight for you gram counters. They're not ultra, ultra light. Like say a, oh, some people pay 30, 40, 50 dollars for super, super light carbon cages, which I've seen. I've seen people have them on their bikes and I, I kinda have to I, I kind of get it, you know, people, some things, some things for them is everything is a holy grail of lightweight. Well, not for me. I was a former middle linebacker. I'm not the lightest guy myself. I'm the stronger, tough guy. And I need my, I need my products to be durable. Well, if I'm not worried about a couple grams, then I probably won't buy this. I'll spend $40 on a high-end carbon cage. But it is lightweight. And... I've, I've loved the Originate aluminum cages, but these are going to take their place permanently. I've had I've had one of these on a bike for quite a while, but I have had no failures, it hasn't dropped bottles, and that's the main thing. You, you want to throw a water bottle in there and just know it's going to stay there. Even if you're hitting jumps, going fast, doesn't matter. You want to, you want to know that it's a secure connection to the bike for your bottle. Does the job. Available in a number of colors, and all at a reasonable price. So again, it may not, you may not consider it to win the water bottle cage category, but it's certainly a good choice. And you're helping to support, especially if you live in Ohio, I mean seriously, you're helping to support somebody in your home state by buying this product. And it's something to consider. They're not charging you extra because it's made in America. It's a very competitive price on everything. and you're going to support a neighbor, or at least, you know, fellow American, and for me at least, that does matter. I mean, all these bottles, I've tested a number of them, they all work. I mean, they're, they're durable, they're simple, they don't have a, a funny aftertaste like some plastic bottles do. You can, you can use them over and over and over, and I haven't noticed any deterioration in the structure of the water bottles I've used for a couple years. And I mean, that's all you can ask out of a water bottle. They do have some more uh, more bottles with unique features. Uh, they have some that allow you to supposedly drink every single last sip. And I'll have to get my hands on a couple of them and try those out. Um, I like to do a 50 strong kind of haul video. Get a whole bunch of products, just water bottles and cages and tire levers. That's if you're a cyclist, you're going to end up using all this stuff all the time. You probably have a bin full of water bottles, but a good one is indispensable. And these insulated ones do actually hold their temperature for quite a while. I, even in at room temperature, you can expect it to be the drink to be cold for a number of hours. On a hot ride, I haven't. I don't. I have rides much longer than an hour, at most. And at the end of those rides, I can count on the drink to be refreshingly cold. So even for me, my testing has been stick, it, stick a cold drink in it in the morning when I go to work because I'm a sales rep for a company and I can ride around in my work truck all day and 
the drink stays cold for quite a while. You know, I can have an iced tea in there and drink it. And you know, a hot summer day in July or August, it stays cold and refreshing because I try to avoid buying drinks out if I can. You know, I drink a lot of tea and fruit juices and whatnot, and I can kind of count. I can count on their drinks to keep a drink cold. You know, halfway through the day, and it still will be cold. That's all I can count. You know, that's all I can ask for it to do. It's doing its job, and it does it at a reasonable price. This one, I paid seven dollars at you know Walmart, and they range from that price up to about twelve dollars or so on their website. But again, this is fifty strong. So a few of their offerings. I mean, they have a website full. You go to their shop. There's three pages of choices of products to go through. So they have a pretty big selection. All of it is reasonably priced, and it works well. It's American made. What more can you ask for out of some a variety of simple products? You just want them to do their job. You don't want to have to pay a fortune for them, and you get the added bonus of. Hey, this is a 100% American company that's been there in Ohio for years. Their molding facility, they said, has been operating for over 35 years. So you're helping a, an American company just to keep putting jobs out there. And they also do have a foundation where they help to uh, encourage uh, work and education of future workers. So, hey, they even have a nice, nice cause. They want to support the American workforce. And there's nothing wrong with that. But feel free, ask any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Now, for those of you who have stuck around to the end of the video here and listened to all my ramblings, because that is kind of my style. I, I don't necessarily jump straight to it. I just like to talk and treat everybody who's watching the videos as if they're in here chatting with me in a, just a conversation, you know, kind of friendly. I have bought all these and I'm going to put them in a little kind of care package. Um, basically, okay, for those of you who have stuck around to this point in the video, the reason why I have these all new products here uh, that I already have examples of and I've tested is I'm going to put together a little care package. It's going to be an American-made 50-strong care package. Now, it's going to be a little contest, and what I want to see is basically, do you believe that it's important for us to support American companies, provided that they make products that are competitively priced and do their jobs properly. Um, basically, they have to function well and are competitively priced. I want to see discussion and basically whoever provides the most detailed best answer, in my opinion, hey, my channel, my contest, why or why not would you support that, that company? Why should you? Can anybody come up with an argument of why wouldn't you support a American company making American made products that do their jobs well are very competitively priced and and that's it <laughs> you you can't really argue against the products they do their jobs well they're competitively priced and you're supporting an American company basically in the comment section below throw up the best sides on both both flip sides of that coin why should you support that kind of company and if somebody can come up with a reason against it, I'd like to see that. Because <laughs> for me, I'm sold completely. Um, next to Mongoose, this is, and next to Mongoose, WTB, and Saran, this is the company I'm going to stand by. I believe you should support an American company. I believe that if you can find a company that makes products that do not rip you off, do their jobs well, and the bonus is that you're supporting your neighbors and fellow citizens, then you should. And I would ask you, why wouldn't you? And that's exactly what I'm doing. I want to see, why wouldn't you support that kind of company? Or, those of you who agree with me, put your agreements, put your comments down below. 
tell me why you believe you should support an American company that provides good products at good prices. Because that's what 50 Strong is. American company making good products at good prices. And I give them my full-hearted endorsement. And any of those, any of those out there that, that don't, put it in the section below. Best answer wins a care package featuring all products you see here. All three water bottles, spare cage, and the set of tire levers. All of it will be boxed up. You'll have to give me your information. The winner will be announced a week from now. That's the following Monday. Or Tuesday, we'll say. Um, I'll give you a full week and day. I'm recording this here on Monday, the 8th. So we will post it up on the 16th. And I will put up the winner then. So that gives you all the way through this week into the weekend, and I will have that winner announced. I'll post it up both in this video's description, and I'll make another video to detail it. And I'll just put up a quick little minute video if I cannot ramble that much. That'll be hard. But care package will be given away to the best response on either side of the coin whether you should or shouldn't support an American company making good products at a good price. So that's a challenge for those of you who take the opposite side. But this is Mongoose Jake, featuring 50 Strong Products, signing off.